what you learned in school. Never mind what your parents told you, and disregard what your friends say. From now on, the only people now on, you need to listen to, to are these guys. Are these guys? For the next several minutes, they'll take you on a journey through the political jungle. And when your journey is over and you're safe at home, they promise you'll be stronger, smarter, and just plain better. So buckle up, hang on to your ears, because your journey starts now. 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 And welcome to Ad Odds. I'm Nate. And so, my fellow Americans, ask not what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. Well, Nate, you sound a lot like John F. Kennedy there mm, yeah. for a second. I, I? Yeah, I don't know that's, what that was all about. Good. Well, that's Brian over there. This is me. Uh, I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> try, I'm gonna try to be quiet throughout the show because Nate's told me that the show goes a lot better when. When I don't talk, so I'm just I'm not I, I'm not going to talk. I don't know if I told you that it goes a lot better. What I said is I enjoy the time more. Ah, when you don't talk, I I, I think you're not alone. I think you're right. Not alone. I'm not. I mean, everyone that listens to the show and has lived the thousands of people that listen mm-hmm. say mm-hmm. get get Brian to shut up. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I get fan mail constantly. I'm starting to think it's me. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, today is Thursday. It's uh, March, uh, what, 27th, 2014. Yeah. Hey, we're in the back room of the Gunslinger Bar and Studio in what country, Nate? Bolivia. Bolivia. And it's not unusual because they do have lots of cowboys down there that sling guns. Mm. They have a lot of beef down in uh, South America, surprisingly. They're called gachos, I think, isn't it? Gachos. I, I don't they know. They have the bolos. The bolos were used to trip up the cattle's feet so they could brand them and yeah harvest yeah. them mm-hmm, and such mm-hmm, mm-hmm. we are a, a live call in talk show when we're when we're live hey yeah. we tested the phone system and it's working this week so excellent we apologize to all of you that tried to call last thanks, week thanks mark mark worked on that he did uh, you can call us at 248-455 odds that's 2485 what is it oh boy 455-6337 248-455-63 Three seven. Hey, March Madness. Brackets. Did you get your brackets all filled out? Yeah, I'm. I'm still still doing well for the billion dollars. I, I don't think you are. No, I I'm heard not. nobody fact, is. Yeah. No, there was one guy. Oh, one guy still. Well, has no, 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 a, not now. But he was. Oh, unblemished. He picked all of those. Oh, games come on! That he went, didn't pick Mercer. <laughs> did he pick Mercer? He, well, I don't know if he picked any of them as much as to just randomly Duke? just randomly wrote down. Names and Dayton. Oh, I mean, how do you pick those games? You can, well, Dayton. How Dayton do you beat pick, Ohio State? How do yeah. you pick those games seriously? I liked how uh, how we're sounding like a sports sports. Show, we are. But, well, I mean, we we tried our hand at it a couple weeks ago when we had the chess segment. Yeah, yeah. that was our first. Thank you for our, our first us, dive so. into chess, uh, and that went the, over so well. These are the chess masters. We're gonna we're gonna try something a little and less exciting. We got a lot of comments and, on that too. Yeah, we, we, <laughs> We, we actually, we actually stop, did. Stop doing the chess segment, <laughs> <laughs> or do it, or do it shorter because it it went on too long. Yeah, but that's all right. But those people don't know what they're. I, talking I about. like Dayton. The Dayton paper said the Dayton University. Yeah, <laughs> and then uh, the people from OSU went and burned the uh, paper. No, they burned Dayton uh, fact, University burned, down. Or, it, it, yeah, but it's it not exists. that big. It's no, one it, building. It doesn't exist anymore, unfortunately. <laughs> Yeah, it's too all bad. Of, all the players were inside the building at the time. It's quite a tragedy, actually. Hey, let's, let's not dwell on it. Michigan State Spartans, my boys. Yeah, in the Sweet Sixteen. Yeah, as long as uh, with Michigan, U of M. And, yeah, University of Michigan and uh, Wisconsin. Yeah, so three Big Ten teams. Let's see if still we can get uh, Sweet Sixteen. One of them to to go all the way. That'd be good. It would be good to see. You, you said go all the way. That. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Uh, uh, that's like, ridiculous. I got it. I got a new gun. Did you? Yeah, I got a little uh, <clears throat> GSG, German made. Yeah, uh, twenty-two caliber long rifle knockoff of the PK mm-hmm. semi-automatic or autom- fully automatic. Mine's not. 
Mm-hmm. It's a semi-automatic. Yeah, sure. And uh, uh, I got, uh, guess what I got in the mail today? Two 20, 22 round mags for it. It came with a 10 round mag. So I got 22 round mags. So now I can defend against zombies. That's good. Now, you, you mentioned. Right. You mentioned that you haven't been able to find it for the last day and a half, though. Yeah, it's odd. You came over and we had coffee that one we morning. We did. And then after that, I could not find my gun. Did I show you what I picked up yesterday? No, what would you get? I got one of these. Huh? Looks. I got one like that. Well, I saw yours and I liked it so much. Yeah. You did say you liked that it. That I... You almost coveted it. I decided to acquire my own. Excellent. And I did, huh. so... Hey, will you keep an eye out for mine? Yeah. Because if I anybody... Sure will. I sure Everybody will. sees it. Yep. I'd like to know. Huh. Mm-hmm. Well, good for you. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. You can borrow it. Thanks. Just bring it back. Thanks. Well, I got a couple of mags for yeah. it if you'd like <laughs> to you? borrow them. Yeah. Well, you used well, to. Uh, what? You used to have a couple of mags. Did you stop by They've again? Been, yeah, I did. Damn it. Anyways, uh, we want to welcome again the listeners in Gilbert, Arizona on KTFL. I guess the answer to that was yes. AM talk. Want. What was, what was, Yes. Nothing. No. You could borrow my I mags just, anytime you want. No, no, no. I nothing. You you put together this oh, monstrosity of a, a program prep, today? prep page here, yeah, and yeah. I make comments on it. And Did you see my answer there? It said yes. Yeah, I, just, that's what I just said. I just it, it, said I guess the answer was yes. It I see is that. Yes. All right. Do you know how safe you are in Manhattan? Well, we're not anymore. Why is that? Well, because Manhattan is one of the safest places in the world now. According to Donald, stop and frisk. <clears throat> oh yeah, new, you're right. New new mayor. I forgot. I no, mean, but stop and frisk. Didn't they cut back on that a little bit? But now, yes, yeah, and so be, crime went up. Yeah, it'll, when, it'll when they cut anymore. back on that. Yeah, but then uh, lots of people will be able to walk down the streets without getting hassled by the man. Yeah, that that's good. That's a good thing. No, 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 no. Donald Donald Trump. He's not the mayor of New York yet. No, he's going to be the next president of the United States. I don't though. think he will. He came out and you said... You know why? Too many skeletons in the closet. You think so? Oh, yeah. I don't. I don't oh, think I so. Don't I think so. he's, he's... What do you he's think is buried under Plaza, Trump Plaza you, 1 you or You mean, whatever. where do I think he made all that money? Uh, you can't make that much money from hotels. Nobody can. Really? Come on. In corny you TV think he's shows. he's a Hilton or something. Nobody can make that yeah. kind of money. <laughs> he does. Mr. Holiday. He in. does think he's a Hilton. But... <laughs> No, odd no. name. Like, uh, for one, odd. In is a lo- funny last name. In, but it to is. name your kid Holiday. Holiday. Uh, well, what else would you name him if their last name was in? I don't know. Holiday. That's uh, that's the only thing. How far is the old log in? I don't know. Mm, maybe I don't know. Okay, what Donald, did Obama say? Donald Trump. Oh, okay. The reason I don't feel safe in Manhattan anymore is because of Donald's his, Trump analysis. His hair. His hair <laughs> in Manhattan. God, poke you in the eye with that. He said what Obama said put a target on Manhattan, what Obama was saying was, oh, Russia, I don't want to talk about Russia anymore, so let me say, oh, I'm more worried about a nuke in Manhattan so he, he than kinda, Putin. He kind of, you know, changed subjects. Oh, he's good at diversion. that sort of thing. But So what? So you're what saying he that he, about? he fears a nuke in Manhattan over uh, the Russians. So our new, cold, well, it's not new, our continuing cold war enemy is no longer the soviet union is now terrorism and that's the excuse they use to take away our freedoms he is re-emphasizing that by saying well i'm more afraid of having manhattan blow up than putin sending nukes over is that what you're saying that's pretty much it now the thought is we still have a threat of being attacked by terrorists and apparently russia isn't included in that threat but we have like a 50-50 chance that they may attack us or they may not. 50-50? Some I, where the, do you get that from? Well, it, it, you're that's, either right or you're wrong. That's I pretty mean, high. 50-50, right? <laughs> no, that's pretty damn high. <laughs> I'm, I'm scared. I'm not going to Manhattan. Well, now. but you, you, see, if you look at it from the other half, you could be not scared uh, because there's a 50% chance you won't be attacked. Now, that's pretty good. No, I think 50-50 is bad <laughs> odds. I would not bet my life on 50-50. So here's the weird thing. Obama's budget apparently would have cut some money from nuke detecting budgets to uh, Putin pudding for for major cities like New York City who has some nuke detecting equipment because you know we have to worry about that sort of thing well yeah well it's, since th- they're not 11, the only city well, that I mean, has look, that. no because some people took an airplane and so the next logical step is a nuclear bomb 
I mean, it's not it's not putting explosives in your underwear. It's not putting explosives in your socks. It's it's a nuke. The next and the TSA. Lo- the next logical step. The you, TSA, you didn't go to a liberal arts college, the, did the you? The TSA <laughs> can't check for nukes. I thought they could. Are you telling me all Can this they, time, every I, time they put a finger in my bum, they're so not we're, checking for we're nukes? Just, we're just looking for nukes, sir. Uh, <laughs> Sorry about that. I don't even work here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I, got a, I got a whole box of rubber gloves, uh, and I'm just standing over here. <laughs> people keep coming up for their screening. So. Some people, that's, well, that's how much we're becoming sheep, you know? Oh, yeah. So guy, well, we, know, we had on the show. When a guy can put on a uniform and stick his finger in your bum, uh, and you don't even think of it we had on the show the drills that the tsa was doing do you remember that where they would just be like oh stop everyone stop don't move don't oh, yeah. move oh yeah they you were can't testing move. they were testing uh the uh, don't move and everybody just stood around uh the docility yeah is that a word yeah the docility yeah, it's of a the word public. now yep and it's a word now <laughs> almost everybody <laughs> spell it just oh. stops yeah and listens to them right and they I mean, want, what are you going to do? It's that. a guy in a, a pretty blue shirt. I mean, you're going to listen to the guy in the blue shirt. And some of those people are dang good looking in those uniforms. Ah, I didn't think he was, but that's fine. Well, I'm going to say the guy with the finger. Oh, never mind. <laughs> yeah, he was. I bet. Um, well, what's going on? What else is going on? Oh, um, I guess, is it the Supreme Court that's here in the case, Hobby Lobby case, or is it uh, a lower court? Oh, no, I think it's the Supreme Court. No, Okay. It came in full circle, but yeah. So Hobby Lobby is saying, "Hey, once I'm done this, with something, I'm done with it." This healthcare thing on. is stupid, and we want to run the business the way we choose to run our business. That's not exactly, and right. we it's it is, and well, we have certain beliefs that we hold, and that we want our privately owned business to uphold, and one of them is contraception, abortion, these sorts of things that the healthcare law forces. Everybody to pay for, not just them. Everybody, you, me, everybody's going to pay for these things f- for others, not for yourself. But so other people can get these things for free, as free as anything from the government. I is. don't know that it's free. I mean, these businesses over fifty mm-hmm. employees, I think, are mandated to provide insurance of some sort. I don't know that it's entirely free. I mean, they probably pay some portion of the <laughs> okay of the premium, it, but. Yeah. So, but but right. In it's Obamacare, as free as anything from the government. That's that's the, how this thing was sold. Is that it's free? Oh, it's healthcare. The I insurance companies pay that's for not it. True. So you don't have to pay for it. Yeah. Of course, it's not true. Of course, it's not true. But that's what people believe, and that's what they were led to believe by I don't know, the president. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, we're not talking about that in the Hobby Lobby case. Let's move on to what that's they what are. That's what I arguing. was talking about. This is a talk show. Ooh. I was when did it talking. become a talk show? I you I sent you the memo earlier today. I don't look at your memo. I said the chess thing isn't working, man. I like. We're chess. gonna have to go into to political crap. Dang, I hate that. Well, that, that's fine and dandy, but let's go. Let's say that the Affordable <clears throat> uh, Health Care Act says that what insurance companies and what businesses have to do is provide these types of uh, services, which are. Uh, Morning after pills, you know, abortion pills, what they're called, the uh, IUDs and certain certain birth control. Birth control. Yeah. And, and Hobby Lobby says they don't have a problem with certain uh, – they only have a problem with four things out of the 16 birth control categories. They only have four. And those it's 25%. Are the ones that, yeah. Those, uh, I don't you know. You have a you, better chance of being attacked by terrorists. In Manhattan. Yeah. You are the engineer. I'm going to bow to your mathematical skill. You should have seen them counting money earlier. Anyways, um, so they have a problem with ones that end life. <clears throat> Anything that doesn't allow the egg to attach to the uterus, Hobby Lobby's owners have a problem with that, and they don't think that they should have to provide that uh, because they have a certain religious belief about that. And I and I agree with that. Um so what they are arguing is that they are looking at the uh, Religious Freedom Reform Act or whatever that act is. Religious freedom, yeah, is not an absolute right. You know, they, there's a they have the government in order to infringe on someone's religious right, they have to show, um, what do you call it, a, an overwhelming societal benefit or you know something or other. 
So, what? You're looking at me like... No, I'm just waiting for the point. The government has to make every effort to protect religious freedoms, right? And so they're arguing that specific act. They're not doing the First Amendment at all in this case. So that question is whether corporations can exercise religion at all. Can a corporation, a private corporation... Okay, and, and what what you're talking about here is actually what the the... The government court. lawyers are claiming in court, that's their argument, well, is that this isn't the First Amendment. The First Amendment no, 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 doesn't no. give you freedom of religion. No, 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 this no, 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 specific no. act is what they're talking about. No, th- that's, not th- that's not the government saying that. This is, ha- ha- this is Hobby Lobby's approach, is looking at this specific act. And that's why the Supreme Court is, is looking at it, because they've ruled in the past that the government can infringe upon your rights, but there has to be extenuating type of circumstance. There has to be overwhelming benef- societal and benefits. Which is exactly what them. the government is asserting in this case. Well, they don't have a very good case, though. That's the point. That is their case. You just laid their case out. You're saying that that's not what they're saying, but that right. is, in well, fact, what the government is saying. The government says, first, it argues that making contraceptives available is a matter of public health. Which is what you said. it argues that the state has an interest in ensuring that all of its citizens, including women, have equal access to health care services. Which is exactly what you said. And third, the government asserts an interest in ensuring that everybody has access to a comprehensive health care system. Which is the other thing that you said. That is the the state's argument, right? (laughs) Well... I need. I'm gonna have a, a brick wall installed right here, so I can one talk to it and two bang my head on it, and the show won't change a bit. That'll be a good investment because you'll be getting two benefits out of it for yeah, the price yeah, of one no, thing. Yeah, no, it's a it's it's a good thing. Well, Hobby Lobby saying, you know, no, you're forcing me to do something, to pay for something, to uh, give something that I'm opposed to, and their argument is that's you don't have a compelling argument. To make me do that. And, they and that's don't. their case. And I agree. I and don't think they do. Let's go a little further with the yeah. government's case. And let's just be clear about this. They do not have a duty or an interest. They shouldn't have an interest. They definitely do not have a duty in ensuring that everybody has equal access to health care. That is not the government's place. Yeah, but that's just one and prong of their, uh, of their argument. The Affordable Care Act isn't about access to health care. It's about access to health insurance. Right. And as we all know, it's going to right. it's going to damage everybody's access to health care. And you're forced to buy it, which is another issue. Yeah, right. But it's it's for your best interest. It's, they have a duty to ensure that you have access to health care. And in order to do that, they're going to force you to pay for things, which, which is Hobby Lobby's case. They shouldn't have to pay for it. I completely agree. Well, one of the issues as well, we need to go to a break. One of the issues as well is whether corporations are a person because the the, the act they are talks about a person's right. Does a corporation have a pers- purpose or a, is, is a corporation a person? And really, the Dictionary Act defines a legal person to include corporations, companies, associations, firms, partnerships, societies, stock companies, as well as individuals. So we already have a president set in law for that. So mm-hmm. I can't imagine that the Supreme Court can rule any other way than to say that Lobby Hobby does not, Hobby Lobby does not have to have <laughs> lobby. See, that was a Freudian yeah, no, it was slip. good. Okay. Does not, that, that does not have a, a, a duty to provide those services. I, I'm going to give you a it. heads up here. Yeah. I'm sure you don't want to do this, but we're going to switch things around. When we get back, because you said you don't, you don't think that a court or a judge would have any, you, you can't believe that they would rule against these things. Let's talk about the judge in the case in D.C. next so you can see just how absurd judges can be in the rulings. We'll be right back. My Parents Open Carry, a program kids book from White Feather Press. 13-year-old Brenna and her parents spend their day in typical fashion. But what's not so typical is that Brenna's parents lawfully open carry handguns for self-defense. And the Strongs join a growing number of families who are standing up for their Second Amendment right and bringing gun ownership out of the closet. Order your copy of this unique kids book at MyParentsOpenCarry.com. There's no better way to say I love you. 
I'm thankful you're in my life. I'm glad to be with you. I'm thinking about you or I miss you. Then with a spectacular flower arrangement from ProFlowers.com. A gorgeous fresh flower arrangement is a must to dress up every birthday, holiday, or anniversary. As a special treat for you, your beautiful flowers start at an amazing low price of $19.99. And ProFlowers.com will include a free vase with floral orders. Imagine a beautiful bouquet of 100 blooms for only $19.99 with a free vase included. Every festive bouquet is guaranteed to last at least seven days. Tell your loved ones you're thinking of them with flowers. Go to proflowers.com slash radio and enter your code to receive this special offer. Enter code POKE. That's proflowers.com slash radio, code POKE. Send a bouquet they'll never forget from proflowers.com slash radio, code POKE. Are you frustrated with your current job, not making the type of money that you know you are worth? Is it time for a change? Start earning money working from home with Autopilot Marketing. Go to Income28.com now. That's Income, the number 28.com. Take our free video tour today and start earning money as early as next week. Go to Income28.com. That's Income, the number 28.com. Honestly, I don't feel great about my mom living alone. She's growing older and weaker every day. That's reality when you're in your 70s. But remaining independent is important to her, and I get that. That's why I chose Medical Guardian to ensure her safety. If she falls and can't reach the phone, if there's a fire, or if someone breaks in, she presses one button, help comes rushing, and I am contacted. Accidents and emergencies really do happen. I refuse to risk her safety, and I feel good about choosing Medical Guardian. After all, she's my mom. Protect your parent and give yourself peace of mind. Call 800-325-1089 for a free brochure. Medical Guardian has no activation fees, equipment costs, or long-term contracts. Be one of the first 50 callers to find out how you can get a free month of service. That's Medical Guardian at 800-325-1089. Ask how you can get a free month of service. 800-325-1089. That's 800-325-1089. From now on, the only people you need to listen to are these guys. with Nate and Brian. I'm Brian. And I am Nate. Who's who? who? I'm Brian. And I'm Brian. So I wanted to, you, before you mentioned, I can't, I, I have, there's no way that this judge in this Hobby Lobby case would rule against what the law says. I, did, I don't think I and said against no. against common I don't, sense. There's, I don't think I said no I way. Bet, uh, uh, My prediction is, you I said, think. You Nate, that, Nate, uh, I will bet you $10,000 right now. <laughs> That no judge ever why do you sound would like make Hulk a bad Hogan. decision. I don't know why you sound like Hulk Hogan. I, you don't even have blonde hair. You know, I met him one time. And you're not balding. No, really? No. Okay. N- never. No. Nope. For a minute there, I kind of idolized you. But yeah. Not anymore. No. Mm-mm. I. Uh, no, I no. know judges can do all kinds of things and make all kinds of stupid decisions. So you, and, you remember this case in Washington, D.C.? We talked about it. This guy had empty shotgun shell casings. Yep. And little hunks of metal that you could place lead. in a muzzle loader. Lead. Yeah. And fire them in a muzzle loader. But it was just the just the little hunk of metal. Just the lead. Was what it was. Um, but he got charged with having unregistered ammunition yeah. in Washington DC. And we thought, that's ridiculous. There's no way in hell that he any judge that. would convict him of something like that. Well, guess what happened, Brian? Oh, contrary. Judge Robert Morin sentenced uh, the guy to time served, a $50 fine, and he's required to enroll with the Metropolitan Police Department's Firearm Offenders Registry. And that sounds familiar because in Michigan we have a sex offenders registry. As many states do. Uh yeah. 
I don't think we have and, a firearm is, offenders registry. No, that's the continuing uh, war on demonizing gun owners. They want to equate them with sex offenders. Oh, so they absolutely. Have firearm offenders because it's absolutely. just as bad. Molesting children and raping people is just as bad as having a piece of lead in your vehicle. That's the thing. That's the thing. And and I know you want to talk about this, so I'll let you talk about what the bit. judge said. But this wasn't a gun. No. He's a firearm Offender now registered in DC. Right. I mean, a criminal, big deal. A criminal for a firearms let's, charge. Let's not, let's not. And he didn't even have a firearm. Well, that's the thing. I mean, the battle by the, the the left is well. We know we can't ban guns, and we can't do all these horrible uh, gun control laws. So what we'll do, what we'll do is we'll just create so many offenses that anybody who has a gun will be deemed a criminal. And therefore, you know, we'll take away their gun rights. In this case, the judge seemed inclined to throw out uh, the charge of the shotgun shell because he actually took the the empty husk with no primer in it, a just hunk a of plastic, plastic with with a little, little metal on there, brass on it, and he actually shook it by his ear and goes, "I don't, I don't hear nothing in there. Can we cut this? Can we cut this open and uh, and see if there's something in there? Have you ever taken a full shotgun shell?" And shook it. Yeah, you don't hear anything. That's weird. My brother has taken one, cut them open, put them in an ashtray, and then lit it on fire. And when it didn't light right away, stupidly, I bent over to see why it didn't light, and he threw a match in, and poof, no eyebrows. Okay, so oh, I was mad at worst it. case scenario. Yeah. You open it up and no you eyebrows. lose your eyebrows. Right, that's the worst. Okay, case scenario. but his. Okay, so then he asked. He asked the the the, the, the judge. Attorneys, it is asked. The judge asked, uh, "Can you cut this open?" And the prosecuting attorney said, "Oh, we can't do that because oh, oh, it might be dangerous." Have and, you ever have you ever smelled cut plastic ooh, before? We better do this in a lab. And we, he says, "Okay, okay." We could scratch our fingers. So they couldn't find a lab right away. So it postponed it for another day. They cut it open. Guess what? No powder, no primer, nothing. <laughs> Empty thing. So the judge he threw that charge out. And. So I'm 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 guessing these weren't expended cartridges. I mean, they hadn't been fired. Uh, there was no primer, and apparently they were sealed. So yeah, I don't they must understand. have been sealed. Yeah, I, but there was no shot and no powder in them, so they were empty husks of plastic. Yeah, threw it out. Makes perfect sense. Right? Yep. It's ridiculous. It, it why, shouldn't have been there. You, it shouldn't have been there. Why are you in front of me? You know, yeah. basically, he kind of said that at one yeah. point. He goes. I don't. I don't know why we're doing this. Maybe we should prosecute the police and the prosecutor that took this case on. So he asked the question about the lead bullet for the muzzle. Loader. Can we cut this open? I, I'm shaking it by my ear and I don't hear anything. I don't hear anything. It's Can totally we cut solid. this open? Yeah, it seems. It seems very solid. It, oh, <laughs> don't <laughs> don't knock that on was things. Stupid. <laughs> Got them all going. I think they think. Uh, I think Santa's here or something. Oh, geez. okay. So, uh, oh, good. Now they're going up to check the right. door. During lunch, the uh, government came up with a list from the ATF of types of muzzle loader rifles that could be converted to use rimfire <laughs> ammunition. Nothing to do with this case, right? Right. Here are a bunch of guns that you could turn into firearms because the judge says, "Why? Why are? Why are we looking at bullets?" On an antique muzzle loader that's perfectly legal in D.C., and the bullets aren't. I don't understand that. He just didn't know anything about guns. But in the end, he said, uh, "I'm persuaded these are bullets. You know, they they look like bullets. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I can give you a lot of things that look like bullets. They are hollow point. I can give you a lot of things that are hollowed, and they're not musket balls. So he ruled that uh, he possessed these beyond a reasonable doubt." Because he admitted metal. that yeah. he possessed them. So he asked for leniency because he was going to lose his job as a financial consultant or something if he had a criminal record. And the judge, you know. It, and it's just, again, well, it sets a precedent for D.C. now. Anybody that has a piece of lead that could potentially be a projectile, you're in danger of being arrested as having a bullet. Let, let's not forget the the further corruption in this case is that originally he was charged with something like a felony possession of unregistered ammunition. Right, it was a felony. And he said, I want a jury. Right. And they said, well, oh, <laughs> <wait a minute. laughs> we'll lower it to attempted possession. Which 
Washington, D.C. is notorious for. They charge you with a felony, they reduce it down to a misdemeanor or something less, and then they hope you will plea bargain it out, and then they don't have to go to trial. They get a chunk of change from you. It sets a, a lesson for everybody else and scares them and all that stuff. Yeah, well, and it, exactly. It scares him. Do you think he's going to keep his legal muzzle loader in D.C. now? No, he was. Is he going to want no, to have I, guns at all? I think he was anywhere? traveling through. I don't think he lived he there. He wasn't traveling through. He owned firearms, but he kept them in Virginia where there's oh, some semblance okay. of freedom. Yeah. Yeah. From what I remember, he kept them uh, at his sister's it's, house. It's amazing. Across a river. Legal? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Illegal. Mm-hmm. Legal? But, Illegal? No, but it's a special river. Oh, I Bullets didn't know that. Bullets can't travel across it from Virginia into D.C. That's where the if unicorns run across. Yes, it is. And if you if you try to shoot from Virginia across the river, the unicorns, they stop the bullet in their teeth. But if it goes the other way. It can't because. Stop no, it no, no, no. D.C. is a gun-free zone. There, oh, it there's can't. no guns there. It's not possible for a bullet to go the other way. All right, let's take a quick break. This is going by way too fast yeah tonight, we're not gonna eight. get to the five thousand other things we oh man all right two four eight four five five odds facebook.com slash at odd show are you looking for some way cool t-shirts check out chugdug.com they have hundreds of crazy fun t-shirts like gun patriotic and you better believe zombie shirts at chugdug.com you'll find quality shirts at a quality price all shirts start at just 10 bucks with free shipping over 50 bucks mention radio one coupon code at checkout and grab a cool 10 percent off that's chugdug.com t-shirts with attitude There's no better way to say I love you. I'm thankful you're in my life. I'm glad to be with you. I'm thinking about you or I miss you. Then with a spectacular flower arrangement from ProFlowers.com. A gorgeous fresh flower arrangement is a must to dress up every birthday, holiday, or anniversary. As a special treat for you, your beautiful flowers start at an amazing low price of $19.99. And ProFlowers.com will include a free vase with floral orders. Imagine a beautiful bouquet of 100 blooms for only $19.99 with a free vase included. Every festive bouquet is guaranteed to last at least seven days. Tell your loved ones you're thinking of them with flowers. Go to proflowers.com slash radio and enter your code to receive this special offer. Enter code POKE. That's proflowers.com slash radio code POKE. Send a bouquet they'll never forget from proflowers.com slash radio. Code POKE. Hey, everyone. Have you heard about the no-no hair removal device that's sweeping the globe? If you want to go weeks without shaving and get smooth, professional quality results, here's our favorite host, Cheryl, for no-no hair removal. Thanks. Hey, gals. I love talking about my no-no. It's this cute little hair removal system that you can take with you and use almost anywhere at home or on the road. No more expensive in-office treatments, painful waxing, and no more wasting your valuable time. Got unwanted facial hair? No-no has patented Thermacon technology that works on all hair and skin colors, so it's perfect for using on all body parts. And now you can take advantage of this incredible risk-free trial. Get the No-No, the facial kit, a travel case, and a $100 discount shopping card, and you don't risk a penny to try it. Try the incredible No-No hair completely risk-free. Call 1-800-953-5470. That's 800-953-5470. 800-953-5470. Honestly, I don't feel great about my mom living alone. She's growing older and weaker every day. That's reality when you're in your 70s. But remaining independent is important to her, and I get that. That's why I chose Medical Guardian to ensure her safety. If she falls and can't reach the phone, if there's a fire, or if someone breaks in, she presses one button, help comes rushing, and I am contacted. Accidents and emergencies really do happen. I refuse to risk her safety, and I feel good about choosing Medical Guardian. After all, she's my mom. Protect your parent and give yourself peace of mind. Call 800-325-1089 for a free brochure. Medical Guardian has no activation fees, equipment costs, or long-term contracts. Be one of the first 50 callers to find out how you can get a free month of service. That's Medical Guardian at 800-325-1089. Ask how you can get a free month of service. 800-325-1089. That's 800-325-1089. At odds with the hosts, sound off by calling 248-455-6337. And welcome. 
Back to Head Odds. I'm Nate. Well, that was abrupt. I'm Brian. You Okay. What? To everybody listening out there who actually heard the way we came in, you I thought apologize. It was clean and perfect. I apologize for Brian yeah. not knowing how things work. I don't me no no radio good stuff. Yeah. Anyway, I'm Nate. That's Brian. We're back. Brian, you wanted you. to talk about this guy. I wanted to talk about China. Oh, we can get there, but let's talk about uh, I love my headline. Do you see my headline? Yeah, I I get it. It's Ye, I'm not sure in read Lee. It. Ye, congressman not, or anyway. Senator Lee, a Chinese uh uh I don't, I what don't, do you call it? A Chinese heritage. Why is that it, important? It's very important because is he a member of the the Asian uh the the Asian Black. He's part of the Tonks. I don't know. Is the, he, the, the, the Chinese the, mafia. The Conkus. Oh, the, the tongs, mafia. That's right. Whatever, yeah. It, and he really is, because <laughs> that's what we're going to talk about. Apparently, he was very, very anti, uh, anti-gun. anti As a matter of fact, I don't know if you're familiar with it, but he was the one that, that kind of bitched and moaned about um, Rush Limbaugh and wanted to get him thrown off the air because Rush had made fun and talked in a kind of way about some Chinese diplomat that was talking in the United States. And Rush was so happy when he had heard that the guy was being let out with in handcuffs. Oh, sure. Um, in California. And now we're going to be attacked by, yeah, well, by I, him. I don't care. Once he gets out hey, of prison. Rush has a lot to lose. We have nothing to lose. That's a good point. Now. That's a good point. Now, here's the thing. Um, Oh, yeah. No, I, I see what you're saying. <laughs> you see what I got there? Yeah, I see what you're saying. Okay, so anti he's a, anti-gun. He, in California. California. Oh, I was going to no ask surprise. you, what is his political affiliation? Libertarian? Libertarian no, or no. Oh, Republican? No, 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 no. Independent? No. Green Green Party? No. Green Party? No. Communist Socialist Party? Close. Yeah. <laughs> Democrat. Well, yeah. Democrat. Democrat. It's the same Democrat. thing. Democrat. Democrat. They're all synonyms. Oh, Progressive. A ro- a rose by any other name. Democrat. It's the same thing. Liberal. You like that new wine I got? Oh, that's, that's pretty good. decent, that's isn't it? That's good wine. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That was not from the Napa Valley in California, I don't think, was it? I have no idea. It's, it was from it, your, it, no, it's, it's from your neighbor's yard, isn't it? California. Oh, dang it. Nothing good comes out of California. Except wine and nuts and fruits. G- you'll Guess where? San Francisco no. Bay Area? No. Nope. Napa Valley. Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> It's pretty sweet. It's horrible. Anyways, he was uh, raided by the FBI. Apparently, he was running guns and doing some kind of uh, work for the- Oh, hey, there you are. I was in the back room. Yeah, I had some files been I had to yelling get to. from the- all Dang right, it. So now, if the whole show's like that, I want to redo uh, the show. Let's stop. Let's start over. He, Cut. He is extremely anti-gun, and then right. he was caught- Running guns. Running guns. Doing deals Who for does the mob? that sound like? Who does that sound like? Bar- it sounds a little bit Barack- like Barack Obama, Barack Obama and Eric Holder. A, a, a and little bit Department. like them, doesn't it? And corruption. He was taking bribes. He was doing all kinds of stuff. Mob was giving him money. Uh, if he'd look the other way, helping uh, get uh, all kinds of guns, trafficking, and all that stuff. The epitome of hypocrisy, which is so Like typical. most Democrats. Yeah, it is yeah, very yeah, typical. I mean, I'm not saying that the Republicans aren't dirty. You know, certainly some of them are. But, boy, recently in the news, and even, you know, the liberal news is, has to report on it because it's so prevalent. But you're getting all these mayors and, and sen- state senators and so on and so forth that are Democrat that are getting busted well, for, for, you know, corruption there you and, go. and bribery. That's what and I was going to say. There's stuff. this weird thing going on. The FBI has has grabbed a few Democrats, a couple in California. I don't know what's going on. I maybe, maybe somebody in the FBI has said uh, this is enough is enough. Hand. We're going to actually do our jobs now. Dang it. I doubt it, but I maybe, maybe. I don't know. Well, maybe I, it was because it, it was be good. so blatant and so horrible and so egregious that they, you know, they just couldn't look away anymore. You, you remember <laughs> when the FBI was like, "Hey, we have Reason to believe that Harry Reid was involved in some corruption a few weeks back. Do you remember that? Uh, and no, no. Eric Holder came out and said, well, he didn't come out. Eric Holder went over and said, hey, hey, you're going to have to drop that case, FBI. 
where it, it, it's Harry alone, Reed. Leave Harry Reed alone. He's on our side. Yeah, exactly. And this guy, he's he, one of us. Lee, what Lee Wee? What was his name? I don't. He's know. He not on their side, that. apparently. No. Well, he's just a state. He's not a. He's not yeah, a Fed. Right. He's a state uh, senator. So he was an up and coming communist. I mean, right. I don't know. It seems like they could have recruited him. But I think he's Chinese, which leads us into what you wanted to talk about, about oh. how wonderful the Chinese government is. No, that wasn't no, it. That, that, wasn't that wasn't it. What I was talking they to you before They make good products? Was, no, I was just, I was just mentioning they to you. They hardly use lead in toys? They, they, they make, you can get products from China that are, no well, lead in their milk. that are well worth the money spent on them. And I firmly believe that. And I, I, I think, I mean, free markets, right? Really? Anyway, really, yes, really, you commie. Now, no, what I was mentioning to you earlier yes. was Michelle Obama traveling to China. Really, I, taxpayer I, money. I, I for sure. I didn't even miss her, and wouldn't allow the media to go with her. Yeah. Now you want to talk about corruption? There was little tweaks too. You want to talk the, about corruption from the Westin Hotel in China? We're saying that she was really yeah. bitchy. Yeah, and that especially her, her staff, mother. Her mother. They hated it. They said, oh, we've, we can't wait we've till dealt she with leaves. people like this, but she's a certain yeah. kind of special. Special certain kind. Do you hear I the Chinese government? The, okay. Their press was only allowed to take pictures from the front. I don't know why, but they were going to be beheaded if they took a picture of Obama or her family from behind. Obama wasn't there. Uh, Michelle Obama. Oh, Michelle, yeah. I, <laughs> I guess she counts. <laughs> Just, when you say Obama, I'm thinking Unfortunately. Of you know why counts. that is, don't you? No. She's got a big butt, and I cannot lie. Well, she does, and you know why? Because she eats cheeseburgers and all the other things that she's trying to get every other American to not be allowed to eat. I like carrots. No, you don't. Are you kidding me? I like celery. All right. Okay, so the hypocrisy of the ye not in glee. The NSA new changes. Barack Obama says he's going to eliminate the NSA, right? Get rid of it all. Oh, wait a minute. It's a ploy. He's going to give it all to the phone company. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So I heard some people saying, well, you know, before when the NSA had it, if they they were data mining all these numbers, but they didn't know who the numbers belonged to, they had to go through some steps to find out. Oh, like, come who on. It was. No. But now it's what going to the phone steps? company, and so now they can just go one shop, one stop shopping, and say, uh, "Verizon, we have it, this number. Tell us everything about it." Well, that's and go, yep, that's here you go. That's no different than than it is today. I mean, you you pretend like oh, it's just metadata, and they can't do anything. Bull crap. They have plenty of data to be able to find out any information about you that they want. Well, unless it's unlisted in cell phone numbers, right? Can I? D- I can take someone's number and do the reverse find on online, and I can type somebody's well, phone number not, in there, and they they not can, a lot of cell phone numbers, not a it's, lot. It's difficult, but when you have it's every the government, I think when you have every bit of information that's transmitted, you can figure it out. And while we're worried about what the water bill is for this new data center in Utah, the NSA's data center, they're still collecting data, and they're going to. And you think. Do you really think that even if they're like, oh, yeah, the NSA, we're closing it down. We're <laughs> What? We're not going to collect your data anymore. Don't worry about it. You can forget about that. We're not collecting your data. You really going to believe that? Well, no, no, I don't believe that. But one of the things I also heard was um, somebody speculated that Obama wasn't going to use an executive order to implement this, that he was going to go through the correct channels this time mm, in, and, in that in that. Well, wait a minute. So he's going to write. He's written this package, sends it to Congress. The Democrats approve it, and there's there so go. much crap in it, and so many bad things in it that when it goes to the Republicans, they're going to say, "Wait a minute. We, you know, the NSA does some good things, and you're eliminating all of yeah, this stuff." Yeah. So the Republicans will veto it. Now the Democrats and Obama can say, "Oh, look, it's the mean, it's the mean Republicans." That's exactly they denied it. So that's exactly what no this is about: is that the Democrats will push it through, then the House Republicans will say, "Well, no, wait, we do actually care about national security. We can't just scrap this entire thing." Right. 
We need to stop spying well, on citizens with no cause. And that's how but we can't know, scrap this whole thing. That's how politics is played. Lots of bills go through with stuff like that that are outrageous, and then they supposed to compromise. You know, but now. Yeah, but they don't, do they don't because if the Republicans said, well, let's let's fix this and make this a decent bill, immediately it's, nope, Republicans want to keep spying on you. The Republicans, we tried. We tried to stop the NSA from spying on you. Right. But those We're mean the good conservatives, right. those mean conservatives, and, not, not the and, moderates. And, and Obama and the Democrats can say, we listen to our constituents. All the people out there yep. saying, we don't mm-hmm. we don't want to be spied on and and, and – the Democrats and Obama, they, they don't want us to be spied on either, so they did what they could, but the Demo- or the Republicans, you know, they killed it. Yep, and people. the dumb people will buy it, and they'll vote Democrat. One of the things that's going to change, apparently, is that the NSA, they keep the phone data for five years, but the phone companies now are supposed to keep the data, but they don't want to keep it because it's a burden, right? I mean, it costs money to keep it on the servers and maintain all that stuff. They only have to do it for 18 months, but they're being pushed by the Repo- uh, by the Democrats to say, eh, bump that up to, you know, 3 or 4 or 5 years. And so they you know, they're they're trying to fight back on that. <clears throat> yeah. Anyways, Jimmy Carter, former president oh, Jimmy Carter, boy. he's worried about the NSA. And why wouldn't he? He has I, so many good things to say. I, I wouldn't. He, he does have communications he, with foreign leaders. He's got some contacts. And when you think about a terrorist and a terrorist that works on the inside like Obama, they're gonna, Jimmy Carter's right up there with that sort of thing. Right. So what he says, they're looking at my email. So what I'm starting to do is I'm starting to write handwritten letters to these foreign and leaders. And you know what he does? He takes them to the United States Postal Service, <laughs> and he mails them through the post office, which, yeah. liberals, I don't care what you want to try to tell me, it is, in fact, part of the government. And you think that they're oh, not looking oh, yeah. through that mail. But why doesn't why doesn't he just, like, send a package with a note in it and use UPS? Right. That's but, what I'm wondering. But here's my point is... You know about cursive? Do you know what cursive and printed Mm-mm. is? No. What? See, what is cursive? Curf, curses, cursive is sort of the the artistic homosexual way of writing. It's all flowery and loops and all kinds <laughs> of stuff. So now we have this yep. Chinese guy coming yep. after us, what? and the gay lobby is going to come after us, and the cursive writers. Uh, but we have the gun You're making on all our sorts side, of... Yeah, so I'm not worried. Now... Yeah, but... They're not teaching cursive, the right? The peace team will come with all of those people. Oh, yeah, and, and they'll hug us. They'll, they'll hug us. <laughs> because no one will beat them up. <laughs> That's an inside long story. Go back oh, way, way geez. back in our show. Yeah, it was a while ago. Anyways, so you write in cursive. Now they that saved my life. Cur- yeah. yeah, cursive is the new code, right? Because they're not teaching it in school. So the new agents coming up now, they're going to see cursive and they're going to go, what the hell is this? Is this Egyptian? Is this hieroglyphics? What? I can't read this. And it's these nice, scrawling, uh, cursive letters. So you could write and communicate with other old people that know cursive. And I'm, I'm telling kids, learn cursive because it's the Morse code of the past. And you can then communicate, and the government I, will not I, be able to interpret what you're, what you're saying because they can't read cursive. I think the Morse code of the past is actually the Morse code. Morse code. Yeah. yeah. All right, we're going to take another quick break. Don't forget to hang with us. We're 90 minutes now, so lucky you. We'll be right lucky back. Lucky you. Red State Talk Radio. Hey, everyone. Have you heard about the no-no hair removal device that's sweeping the globe? If you want to go weeks without shaving and get smooth, professional quality results, here's our favorite host, Cheryl, for no-no hair removal. Thanks. Hey, gals. I love talking about my no-no. It's this cute little hair removal system that you can take with you and use almost anywhere at home or on the road. No more expensive in-office treatments, painful waxing, and no more wasting your valuable time. Got unwanted facial hair? No-no has patented Thermacon technology that works on all hair and skin colors. So it's perfect for using on all body parts. And now you can take advantage of this incredible risk-free trial. Get the no-no, the facial kit, a travel case, and a $100 discount shopping card. And you don't risk a penny to try it. Try the incredible no-no hair completely risk-free. Call 1-800-953-5470. That's 800-953-5470. 800-953-5470. 
Honestly, I don't feel great about my mom living alone. She's growing older and weaker every day. That's reality when you're in your 70s. But remaining independent is important to her, and I get that. That's why I chose Medical Guardian to ensure her safety. If she falls and can't reach the phone, if there's a fire, or if someone breaks in, she presses one button, help comes rushing, and I am contacted. Accidents and emergencies really do happen. I refuse to risk her safety, and I feel good about choosing Medical Guardian. After all, she's my mom. Protect your parent and give yourself peace of mind. Call 800-325-1089 for a free brochure. Medical Guardian has no activation fees, equipment costs, or long-term contracts. Be one of the first 50 callers to find out how you can get a free month of service. That's Medical Guardian at 800-325-1089. Ask how you can get a free month of service. 800-325-1089. That's 800-325-1089. There's no better way to say I love you. I'm thankful you're in my life. I'm glad to be with you. I'm thinking about you or I miss you. Then with a spectacular flower arrangement from ProFlowers.com. A gorgeous fresh flower arrangement is a must to dress up every birthday, holiday, or anniversary. As a special treat for you, your beautiful flowers start at an amazing low price of $19.99. And ProFlowers.com will include a free vase with floral orders. Imagine a beautiful bouquet of 100 blooms for only $19.99 with a free vase included. Every festive bouquet is guaranteed to last at least seven days. Tell your loved ones you're thinking of them with flowers. Go to ProFlowers.com slash radio and enter your code to receive this special offer. Enter code POKE. That's ProFlowers.com slash radio, code POKE. Send a bouquet they'll never forget from proflowers.com slash radio. Code poke. It's a bumpy ride through the political jungle with Nate and Brian. back you're listening to at odds with brian and nate i'm brian and i'm brian and i'm nate uh let's see jimmy carter will phase that out i think it's i think it's like the navajo code breakers during world war ii code talkers code talkers not the breakers wind talkers the the, cold uh, winders the big winders i don't know the mighty wind anyways the, the germans had trouble with navajo worked out well uh, let's see. Who doesn't have problems with Navajo? Nobody other does. Other than the Navajo. Uh, was it the Navajo that said that the Hopi had good beef or shit? They may I have. Remember. I couldn't understand what they were saying. I needed a code talker. I met some out there in uh, Arizona and the the Hopi, I think the Hopi have beef or uh, Sorry, sheep. I didn't mean to derail and, it that and, much. And, and the, the Navajo raised cattle. And I said, what? You know what good are the Navajos and the Hopi said? Oh, they got good beef. You know, All right, we've steal, got a minute so. before top of the hour break. What do you want? Really? To, what do you want to sneak in here? Yeah, really. I want to be a cop in Hawaii because then I can have sex with prostitutes. Well, you can do that anywhere. Well, I don't know that you can, but apparently oh, yeah. in Hawaii, you can. It's legal for undercover officers to have sex with prostitutes oh, because geez. the prostitutes would say, "Are you really a cop? If you're really a cop." You can't have sex with me legally. And the cop says, oh, yes, I, I can. I'm not a cop. Let's have sex. So he has sex with her, and the prostitute goes, oh, I guess you're not a cop. And so they bust her. Now they're saying there's no real reason for that. But I think it was developed because some chief of police in, in uh, Honolulu somewhere was having sex with a prostitute, and his wife caught him. And he said, honey, I'm undercover. It's, <laughs> I'm, yeah. it's part of my job. Anyways, they're trying to get rid of that. So. And apparently I read, because we are from Michigan, <laughs> that Michigan is one of the laws, one of the states that allows officers to have sex with with prostitutes during bus. And I couldn't, I researched that, I couldn't find any statute for that. That, that. So that, I don't know. that makes it legal or makes it illegal because that we makes know it legal. what statutes do. Do they make things legal or something? You, you don't have too many that say, this is legal. Right. But I think it made it an exemption for police officers having sex with prostitutes. All right. right so. That's ridiculous. You're going to Hawaii. We'll be right back. Two four eight four five five 
odds. Tune in to Red State Talk Radio, the new media's talk monster for grassroots. That's what freedom is all about. Common sense. I would be willing to use waterboarding. Conservative talk radio. Big spending liberal. Red State Talk Radio. WRS Digital, Cleveland, Tennessee. Uh, the uh, <laughs> commerce. I, I, commerce. Have you ever wondered how you could make a difference in someone's life? What if you could help hundreds or even thousands of children? You might think it impossible, but it's within your reach. Right now, today, students in the U.S. rank 32nd in world math skills. It's time for our children to catch up, and you can help. Become an owner of one of the world's fastest-growing franchises, Mathnasium. Mathnasium is the leading math-only learning center in the U.S. Its only purpose is to make our kids better at math. Imagine helping hundreds, even thousands of students in your community improve in school and raise their self-esteem, all while doing something you truly love. Call us at 800-644-0510 for a complete package of information. That's 800-644-0510 to learn how you can make a difference. Doing something you truly love. 800-644-0510. 800-644-0510. Red State Talk Radio is All-American Talk Radio. Limited time offer, 24-month commitment, and credit qualification require cancellation fee, auto pay, and paperless billing, and other restrictions apply. If you can't see the difference, why pay the difference? Switch to DISH for the best deal in entertainment. Only DISH brings you the best in entertainment for less than $20 a month. Cut the cable and don't get directed. Switch to DISH because at just nineteen ninety nine, DISH saves you every time you turn on the TV. It's so simple. The same channels cost less with DISH. So since you can't see the difference don't pay the difference switch to dish for the best deal in entertainment get premium movie channels free for three months starting at just 1999 dish saves you every time you turn on the tv call now to save with dish dial 1-877-291-1864 that's 1-877-291-1864 the same channels for less than 20 bucks a month dish call 1-877-291-1864 for details Red State Talk Radio. Talk radio the way the founding fathers would have done it. Buy American. iBuyAmericanStore.com. American made, American sold. iBuyAmericanStore.com. Browse and purchase American made products direct from the manufacturers. Appliances, clothing, housewares, jewelry, pet supplies, toys, and more. iBuyAmericanStore.com. Don't wait for politicians to create an environment in which American manufacturing can thrive again. It's our choice to buy American. Let's make it happen ourselves. iBuyAmericanStore.com. America's premier grassroots conservative talk radio network. Red State Talk Radio. 150 million people suffer from headaches. All you want is for the pounding in your head to stop. Migralex stops the pounding. Migralex was developed by a neurologist and founder of the New York Headache Center. I'm neurologist Dr. Alex Mauskop. After studying and researching the human brain for 25 years, I've developed Migralex, which eliminates pounding headaches. It works for my patients, and I'm so convinced it will work for you. I don't just guarantee it. I put my name on it. Dr. Mauskop's Migralex gets rid of headaches fast without harsh caffeine, sodium, or preservatives. Migralex works unbelievably fast. And it's gentle on my stomach. Find out how to get your free bottle of Migralex. Call 800-537-9046. Plus, if you're one of the first 100 callers, you'll also receive the Migralex Quick Tips to Headache Relief absolutely free. That's 800-537-9046. Or go to MigralexRelief.com. M-I-G-R-A-L-E-X Relief.com. Or call 800-537-9046. Tired of the same old blah, blah, blah of traditional conservative talk radio? We know that under the 99% rate, the U.S. economy Then tune in to New Media's Talk Monster for grassroots, common sense, conservative talk radio, red state talk radio. They want to tear down our country. We love our country, and we want to rebuild our country. That's the difference. WRS Digital, Cleveland, Tennessee. And we're back. That's Brian over there. I'm Brian, and this is uh, Nate. And that's Nate. You're listening to Ad Odds. 
And this is the Rush Limbaugh Show. Oh, no. different show. Sorry. <clears throat> I thought we were doing Opposite Hour. No, Opposite Hour would be like the Maddow Show or whatever her name is. Or, or Limbaugh, Rachel, depending Rachel on if you went with ratings or, oh. or oh, yeah, political ratings. ideology. Right. Okay, yeah, you're right, you're right, right, right. Yeah, big, 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 big ratings, low, low ratings. Yeah. yeah, we'll let you decide who has the big ratings, who has the low ratings. I have, uh, uh, we have other jobs besides this, right? I mean, we well, kind of do. So does he. Who does? Rush Limbaugh. I, no, he doesn't. He He's an author. He makes a ton of money writing. Oh, yeah. You he know, smokes you, cigars. You know how many books, the kids' he, books he, he sold? He uh, flies oh. around in his, his private jet. Right. Uh, and he golfs. Can't beat that. No, you can't. It, it's, I would it's, like to. It's almost like he's the president of the United States. Exactly. Yeah, Same thing. it's weird. With less security. It's weird, except oh, I don't not. think Limbaugh ever put out a book that said he was born in Kenya. No, and I don't think he, well. I don't care about his books. What I want to know is, does he play golf in the jet while it's flying? I bet <laughs> he's, got, sure a, he's I got, a, got a putting thing in there, I bet. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I bet he does. He, <laughs> All right, dive. <laughs> he just taps it. Yeah. Yeah, okay, now, oh, here left. I'm an inch short. Can you uh, uh, Can you go down a, a few they, feet? They, yeah, the plane goes up and down. Anyways, uh, <laughs> so I got a coworker, and he says, here, you ought to talk about this on your show. And it's the Boston Marathon Rules of Spectators, right? They have a website. You go there, and they Does have Does it rules. say no bombing the finish line? doesn't say that ex- exactly. Well, then, wh- says, who, then what's going to stop somebody? Right. And nothing will. And it says we, uh, we request that you don't bomb. You know, oh, they took the Starbucks approach. Yeah. We, you know, we'll take your money. You can come here, and you know, if you want to bring your bombs, we're not gonna. I'm not gonna make our workers tell you to leave, but we wish you wouldn't. This is this is verbatim from the uh, from their website. Is my mic on? I don't know. If yes, it is. it's is been it? on. Okay. You darn it! You I, usually we, turn we've it been off. okay. We what? have been doing this. Well over a year. Yes. You've never Longer had this much year. trouble with your microphone. No, I don't no. know what the hell you're doing. I, I, I changed positions on it. I was trying something new. It's not working. I told you not to. Just like my I, wife, it didn't. it's not working out. All right. This is what they said. Speaking of that, what? our new sponsor, you should get her some flowers, Pearl Flowers. My wife? Poke. Yeah. Just poke me, she says. Yeah, I would because lots of stuff are coming up, right? Mother's Day is coming up, Father's Day is coming up, Daughter's Day, Sunday. Uh, well, Sunday comes up every week. Everybody knows how fathers love flowers yeah, for Father's I, Day. Listen, I'm in touch with my sensitive side. We I, know I, that. I can we know appreciate that. a pretty flower. <clears throat> anyway. Pro flowers. All right. And this is what it says. While this year's Boston Marathon is expected to draw great interest from the community, Leading to more fans and spectators, those interested in attending the race are also being asked for their cooperation in following reasonable and common sense guidelines. Those are the key words, right? That will ensure the safety and security of participants, volunteers, and spectators. Well, we had reasonable and common sense uh, pat-downs during the New Year's Eve celebration in Times Square. It was common sense and reasonable. And You'll be searched. And so if you go into the security mm-hmm. areas, you will uh, face private and uh, professional law enforcement security personnel. They may ask, okay? Not that they can. This is what I want to emphasize. They may ask to inspect bags. And you say And other items no. being carried. And you can say no. Yep. And I suggest you, you say, say no. no. Now, they say... To avoid delays, spectators are encouraged not to carry any of these items listed below, and I'll get to those. Bombs is on there, but it's like fourth on the list. It's weird. (laughs) We're encouraging you to use clear plastic bags if you are going to use any bags. Using a clear plastic bag will enhance public safety and speed security screening. Anyways. So, so this this so this, are, this what, is what we deal with, and we knew this sort of thing was coming. They're worried because something happened last year. I I get it. Okay, well, I just, but nothing here is going to stop somebody from doing harm that wants to do harm. No, 
And some of these things are in violation of the Constitution. Right. They cannot search you without <clears throat> probable cause. Well, it doesn't say that they can. No, right. They, they are making so it sound not like in violation can. of the Constitution. If they but ask the, you to search your bag and you let them, that is not a violation of of Absolutely. any of your rights. You uh, you consent to that. But see, here's the things they're asking you not to bring through the enhanced screening. Weapons or items of any kind that may be used as weapons. Like a pen or your fist or a hammer or your shoe or your head. Cell phone. Or your cell phone. Your camera. Your sunglasses. Right. Your teeth. Uh, samurai swords. Your, your child. Bazookas. Things like that. Including firearms, knives, mace, etc. Now, if this were anywhere but Massachusetts, and I have a concealed pistol license and I'm carrying a firearm and going to a public street to watch a race, screw them. They can't stop no, me from carrying okay. those things. No, what? Uh, that, what? No, I, what? Well, uh, we can analyze that if you want because the Constitution and our natural freedom, our natural rights say, no, they can't stop you from carrying your firearm. But there are other... Gun-friendly states like North Carolina, you can't carry your gun to watch a parade. Georgia was like that too, and I don't know. We're, we don't know if we'll get to it today, but we. Got but to. I'm just saying, Massachusetts isn't the only place that's this messed up. I, I understand that. Yeah, yeah, okay. But I'm just saying that if you are lawfully allowed to carry a weapon in Massachusetts, I don't think they can stop you. <clears throat> uh, no backpacks, of course. No suitcases well, or rolling bags or rollers. I, don't I know mean, what that is no coolers, no glass containers or cans. I can't carry my lighter fluid with me, or my fireworks, or my explosives. <clears throat> no, no, no. You're, I think that's look. It's not illegal. It's just frowned upon, and it, it says you're discouraged from carrying these right. things. And and any cape or <clears throat> any container capable of carrying more than one liter of liquid. <sighs> No handbags or packages more than 12 by 12 by 6. <laughs> you can't have large blankets, comforters, duvets, sleeping bags at all. What's a duvet? I'm not sure. Is, is it duvet? It could be a duvet. Okay. What's Keep a duvet? Going. Go ahead. No, it's fine, Mr. Sensitive. No costumes covering the face or any non-form-fitting bulky outfits extended beyond the perimeter of the body. I don't. I, that's clothes, isn't it? Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, Aren't all clothes extended? <laughs> Otherwise, they'd be inside you. Yeah, that's right. Yep. <laughs> so it can't. I don't understand. Oh. Well, if they're form-fitting, so what they want, Brian, is you and I. To show up at this in a bodysuit like a yoga pants, <laughs> yes, that would not be good for me. That would not, be, no, they would think, no, 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 they, <laughs> oh, yeah, they'd see if you were carrying any bombs. That's I, for I think sure. what I'm gonna do is I'm uh, gonna wear officer, a clear, that, that is not a, a clear firearm. vinyl <laughs> yoga pants, that's right, bodysuit. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I'm not carrying anything concealed. Oh, maybe I am, it's just for my safety. <laughs> You can't have any props. Uh, think of the children. Is. I don't know what a prop is, but no props. Is that a boat prop? <clears throat> Including <laughs> might be. sporting equipment. I don't know. And military. Running shoes. And you cannot take your running shoes to the marathon. And fire gear. Uh, including sporting <laughs> equipment and military and fire gear. What is fire gear? Well, you know, like the helmet or the coat that's flame resistant. Good or boots. Lord. <laughs> or, or a hose. Can I see? I was gonna. Oh, maybe I was, they mean an axe. I was gonna <laughs> carry my tanker truck with me this oh, year, or an axe. I guess I, I can't. I had a pickaxe that I used to, you know, get into burning bills. What the hell is fire gear? Did and you? What you did? You had a pickaxe that you used to get into burning buildings. I did <laughs> when I was a firefighter. Okay. Well, you can't carry your gear there. No. So, anyways, what a bunch of bull roar, as we used to say as kids. <clears throat> Anyways. That's ridiculous. All right. We're going to have to take a break in a minute here. Really? But, We've mm -hmm. got some time, don't we? No. Do we have time for a sound clip for the superintendent of the school? In, uh, Let's do that. We, we didn't uh, talk about this last week. No, but we didn't. The, it's a little old, but uh, there's a, a There's clip. a school in Illinois. Big surprise. Springfield, where the Springfield. Simpsons are. <laughs> big surprise. That's, isn't that somewhere with Lincoln? <clears throat> Springfield. Uh, President Lincoln was yeah. practiced Yeah, Obama came from there, too. Springfield? Springfield, I don't know. Illinois. Illinois. It's, I, general, I'm yeah. lumping all of Illinois together as communist. Now, 
they had this lesson in a, I think it was a seventh grade classroom. Oh. They're going through the amendments to Bill of Rights, and it said, the Second Amendment means that you can keep and bear arms as long as you register them and you're allowed to carry them, and the government says you can, which, in fact, is not what the Second Amendment says. So the school should well, not be teaching that. You want me to read it exactly? Yeah, go ahead. This amendment states, the second, this amendment states that people have the right to certain weapons. I got to get rid of the oh, uh, pop-ups. Geez. Have certain <laughs> rights to certain weapons. It didn't say that. Providing that they register them and Ooh. they have not been in prison. The founding fathers included this amendment to prevent the United States from acting like the British who had tried to take weapons away from the colonists. Mm, kind of. That's true. But the superintendent, because parents were outraged, because this is ridiculous. Yeah, but he defended not what was actually written in the workbook. Because he's the workbook says they have a right to certain weapons. No, he provided that they register them. Yeah. And they've not been in prison. That's... That is what he was defending. Here's what he said. Yeah. What happens with the right to bear arms in the context of 2014 is the right to bear arms in reality, not as written in the Constitution, but in reality, is it in any way abridged? And, and the answer to that is yes, in some places, by the need to register guns uh, or register gun owners and so on. So that's what he said. Right. So what he's but saying that's not is what the workbook said. Yes, it is. No, it said you have to register your guns. Uh, it was in, well, it whatever. Was but his, what, his point that it was everybody. And it doesn't matter. If they're teaching the Bill of Rights, they should teach the Bill of Rights. Right. They don't get to make something up and teach whatever they want or what they think reality is. That's the problem, and they know it. Well, This yeah. is exactly the problem with public education. They know what they're teaching these children. They know what these want. They want these children to grow up to believe that and to think about is. the Constitution. But I wonder what it says about the First Amendment in their workbook. Does it recite the exact First mm -hmm. Amendment? Because there's restrictions to that. But and and what uh, about but the liberals love to use the First what Amendment? What about the Third Amendment? Them. What about the Fourth? Do they say people? You know, the, the the government can search your home under certain conditions. Oh, I guess they can. I don't know. I just wonder what the wording was was for the other amendments in, in that workbook. Now, this superintendent of this school says he's not going to pull this lesson plan. He's not going to tell the teacher not to teach this because, freedom, after all, freedom. Oh, after teacher. all, this teacher, she went to school or he went, they yeah, went, they to, went school, to college. They went to college and got a degree to teach children. Right. So who are you to tell them that they should actually teach the truth? Do you have a teaching degree, Brian? You don't. I don't. The gall. The gall of these people yeah, to demand you, that. You have no right to even think you're on the same playing field as these teachers. Well, not only that, but the children belong to the state. That's right. That is right. And if we, well, earlier you talked about Rachel Maddow. That's what she said. The children, they're not your children. They're not yours. They belong to everybody. They're the they're community the, property. They're the collective. Which I guess, yeah, never mind. That was She won't have any children, I don't think. <laughs> I went there. Nope, nope. What was it? What was it? Uh, never mind. It was American Dad, the 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 son. They were saying he wouldn't have any kids unless he was. Yeah, never mind. Okay. <laughs> so this guy says, for me, it's an issue bigger than this one issue. It's about the fact, you know, as you said, that teachers in the district went to college, got a degree, and a license to teach, so they know best. Yeah, that's what I uh, just said, but. All right, let's take a break. It'll give us a couple minutes when we come back, and uh, we have a lot well, more. But we'll we try just, to we'll try to finish to like it. our uh, last ten minutes or so. Yep. Facebook dot com slash ad odd show. Brian is we'll awesome see, at radio. We'll see you on dot the com. Other side of this. Are you looking for some way cool t-shirts? Check out ChugDug.com. They have hundreds of crazy fun t-shirts like gun, patriotic, and you better believe zombie shirts. At ChugDug.com, you'll find quality shirts at a quality price. All shirts start at just 10 bucks with free shipping over 50 bucks. Mention Radio 1 coupon code at checkout and grab a cool 10% off. That's ChugDug.com. T-shirts with attitude. There's no better way to say I love you. I'm thankful you're in my life. I'm glad to be with you. I'm thinking about you 
or I miss you than with a spectacular flower arrangement from ProFlowers.com. A gorgeous fresh flower arrangement is a must to dress up every birthday, holiday, or anniversary. As a special treat for you, your beautiful flowers start at an amazing low price of $19.99. And ProFlowers.com will include a free vase with floral orders. Imagine a beautiful bouquet of 100 blooms for only $19.99 with a free vase included. Every festive bouquet is guaranteed to last at least seven days. Tell your loved ones you're thinking of them with flowers. Go to proflowers.com slash radio and enter your code to receive this special offer. Enter code POKE. That's proflowers.com slash radio, code POKE. Send a bouquet they'll never forget from proflowers.com slash radio, code POKE. Hey everyone, have you heard about the no-no hair removal device that's sweeping the globe? If you want to go weeks without shaving and get smooth, professional quality results, here's our favorite host, Cheryl, for no-no hair removal. Thanks. Hey gals, I love talking about my no-no. It's this cute little hair removal system that you can take with you and use almost anywhere at home or on the road. No more expensive in-office treatments, painful waxing, and no more wasting your valuable time. Got unwanted facial hair? No-no has patented Thermacon technology that works on all hair and skin colors, so it's perfect for using on all body parts. And now you can take advantage of this incredible risk-free trial. Get the No-No, the facial kit, a travel case, and a $100 discount shopping card, and you don't risk a penny to try it. Try the incredible No-No hair completely risk-free. Call 1-800-953-5470. That's 800-953-5470. 800-953-5470. Honestly, I don't feel great about my mom living alone. She's growing older and weaker every day. That's reality when you're in your 70s. But remaining independent is important to her, and I get that. That's why I chose Medical Guardian to ensure her safety. If she falls and can't reach the phone, if there's a fire, or if someone breaks in, she presses one button, help comes rushing, and I am contacted. Accidents and emergencies really do happen. I refuse to risk her safety, and I feel good about choosing Medical Guardian. After all, she's my mom. Protect your parent and give yourself peace of mind. Call 800-325-1089 for a free brochure. Medical Guardian has no activation fees, equipment costs, or long-term contracts. Be one of the first 50 callers to find out how you can get a free month of service. That's Medical Guardian at 800-325-1089. Ask how you can get a free month of service. 800-325-1089. That's 800-325-1089. At odds with the hosts, sound off by calling 248-455-6337. That was uh, abrupt again. Why didn't you give me a little lead into that? What? Oh, 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 we're back. Go screw yourself. I'm Nate. Oh. So have you been listening to Congress people again talk about the Second Amendment? Yeah, I, I have. So this awesome reporter in Rhode Island at a press conference says, hey. That's Rhode Island. The Second Amendment shall not be infringed. You guys have to know that. Yeah, why aren't? what are you doing? And it, here's the response from the congressman. And you said his bodyguard, scary-looking tattooed guy. Because people with tattoos, they're bad he's, people. He wears a T-shirt. That. He had a camera. He had tattoos. And he was standing next to the senator. Senator Josh Miller, Democrat. Go f- yourself. Comment, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Go f- yourself. Hmm. That, go. That's a nice bunch of people. Go and f- really, we, you, you listen to the whole clip, which I we didn't did. want to edit because yeah. there was. Yeah. They said it more times in there. Oh, they yeah. whispered it one time away from the microphone. Yeah. Go f yourself is the response when he says, "Hey, you guy who took an oath to uphold the Constitution, you should know what the Constitution says." And he apologized, but he didn't apologize by uh, saying, "Yeah, come on." Well, this guy, this guy's always at the uh, state capitol. He's always he's a rabble rouser. I don't have to. Yeah, you know, he's not, he he he's like a, he's pays attention dink. to what we do. Yeah, I don't, I don't. He like watches him. us and gives us suggestions and stuff. He's aggressive and intimidating, and we don't like that. So I just told him to go f himself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but that's I'm sorry not, I said that. Not an apology. No, it wasn't. All right. So I saw this article today. This kid had a car. He was parked at his school or somewhere. And there Lucky was, kid. There was this dog searching around the outside of the car. Wait a minute. What kind of dog? 
a I mean, police dog. Oh, it was a police dog. Just mm-hmm. randomly German there? Shepherd. No, the police were there because that's what they do sometimes. In random. The, random drug You know chest. what the dog found in the car? Marijuana? No, cocaine, you would think marijuana. You would think Methamphetamine? Mm-mm, no. Heroin? Mm-mm. Uh, Oxycontin? A switchblade knife. Ooh, that's a good dog. Yeah. Somehow this dog was so well trained, and I know dogs pretty well. They could smell Japanese stainless steel? Yes, they could. Oh, wow. Yeah. So they're like, well, we don't know. The dog alerted on something. So, something. You know, guess, guess we, what we searched found. the car. Now, it's not he may, the kid may have given permission to search the car. We don't know. I doubt it. I don't know. I, I, I suspect the but dog But they alerted. said the dog alerted on something, and they found a knife. And they're like, well... And here's the problem with drug dogs and things. Well, I hate them. It may have been something that was in there like a week ago, and the dogs, they have good noses. I mean, you know, dogs can smell, and right. it may have still picked up the scent. So it's not our fault, and we found the knife. It's like when I cook salmon, I smell it three days later. Right. Yeah. Cause, and cause so be careful because if they bring a drug dog around, I it hardly may ever, I ever, alert. I, I hardly ever cook meth anymore. I cook more salmon than meth now. Yeah. And I better be careful. You know what? It's also a true statement that I cook more salmon than meth. Me too. Yep. Yeah. Now, after the court order. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah I'm not going to say that right. part for me. Right. The court order had nothing to do with it. Oh, really? But yeah. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. I was doing well before that. <laughs> Anyways, I mean, come on. Yeah. I, I, it, hate, it's... I hate drug dogs and the Supreme oh, Court has I, upheld, I, 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 upheld I love, them. And I love them. all dogs. I love the dogs. Even drug I, dogs. I don't like drug dogs when they're used to uh, circumvent your Fourth Amendment right. Good news in Michigan, finally. One of the few, sta- sorta. One of the few states that outlawed short-barreled guns that were short-barreled rifles, short-barreled shotguns. You couldn't even own them if you got a federal <laughs> permit to do it. Against the law in Michigan, Which for whatever reason. It's ridiculous that you need a federal permit to own a gun that's shorter than some arbitrary length. A hundred years I mean, later, they finally passed the bill that said, we're going to follow state law, and you'll be able to own them in Michigan if you just <laughs> bow down to the federal government, pay the $200 tax stamp, I, a stamp tax sack. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's a fee. A fee. Fee, uh, it's a user fee. <laughs> it's a bribe. No, $200, you're right. Two hundred dollars per gun, and you uh, oh, get ridiculous. permission from your local police chief. You got to be in good standings, uh, and then eventually, after three or four months, they will give you a little stampy thing that uh, you, uh, I guess, put on your gun. I don't know. You stick it to the gun. <laughs> you put somewhere. it on your forehead anytime. Forehead. You, you carry the now. Gun. He, here's the problem. And you can order, and you can own these things now. I'm seeing all of the, you know, the joy about this bill passing i think there's going to be a lot of people whether they get in trouble or not they don't understand that no they really don't you can't just go chop the barrel off your shotgun and right. be legal right you still have to deal with the government the feds which is absurd right. and what we need is somebody like attorney general bill shooty yeah, or somebody to come in and say hey federal government and sheriffs get away Sheriff, this is yeah. our state you don't come in here. You're not going to prosecute these people that are following our laws. Carry. They're not going to do that. But no. uh, Mike Green, I think, is pretty big in getting he's this bill passed. Senator. I don't agree with everything he does no, he did. And, by uh, far, but know, he's pretty good carry, on gun stuff. Local gun groups have worked with him on, on this <clears> and other bills. The thing is, you know that 22 I, I got recently I told you about? You're going to cut the barrel off? Well, if I could find the damn gun. Yeah. I can't find the yeah. gun. I know. Like that's I said, weird that you lost it. But you could do it since you have one now. I could. You could put it on a folding stock or some yeah. kind of ex- uh, extending collapsible stock, pay your $200 to the feds, and you could. But uh, before this be was legal, passed, you could not do I that. couldn't put a specific type of stock right. on this. I mean, when you think about this, your, how your gun? stupid. I don't know. I don't know where mine is. Yeah, mine. My gun. I, I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. Here's another thing, real quick. And I can put one on my AR-15 pistol. You do not have an AR-15 pistol. No, I don't. I have AK-47 <laughs> pistol is what I meant to say. You used to have one. No, I didn't. Is what you mean? It, you used to have an no. AK-47 pistol. All right, real, real quick. Twenty seconds here, Brian. Another Michigan. I wrote thing. an article about this a year ago when it yeah. was when it first Where came out. Where did you out. write it in? I, it, it doesn't matter. The Inquirer. But, yeah, <laughs> yeah, the National Enquirer. Examiner, right? right? 
Yeah. Okay, judge throws out Michigan ban on exotic swine. Now, Michigan passed a law because the DNR said you're getting all of these Russian boars and stuff on these hunting preserves throughout the state. They're escaping, getting into the to the wild and causing all kinds of problems. No more problem than the domestic pigs that would escape occasionally, go out, become feral, and cause problems in the wild. Same damn situation. Well, and here's the problem that I Those laid out. Those but the boars is weren't. that you can't. It's not easy to tell the difference in some cases not after between what's legal and what's not legal. Right. And the bloodline's different, too. So um, they were eliminating the Russian wild boar, razorback hogs, all that kind of crap. And, no, they said it's unconstitutional. You can't do that. Um, it's sort of arbitrary and capricious or whatever. Yeah. You can't ban certain breeds like that. Pig's a pig is a pig. And so now a lot of these guys, and they've lost, a lot of these uh, ranch guys, they, they've they lost tons of money. They had to get rid of their inventory. Um, Not had to get rid of their inventory. The government comes in and, and just takes kills it, them all. Or kills them all. And takes them. And for what? So it was not only their inventory, but profit they had from the hunts they would have. Yeah. And yeah. so uh, thank goodness that's over with because I always wanted to – to shoot a nice Russian boar and, somewhere. And, and, and now Michigan. I have some on order. They're on their way here, Good. some Russian boars I didn't to have want to in have my to backyard. Tra- I didn't want to have to travel to Tennessee or Kentucky and all those places. And now I can now do it in you my don't. home state. Now you don't. All right, that's all the time we have, though. We are way over because Brian bloviates. I talk. See you next week. Bye-bye.